out of ideas. No worries, my pet. Uncle Frank has his well in hand. Scored this code off a of mate down at the grind. Cost me a pretty penny. Now we head to the roof, jump across to the neighbors, hop into our waiting truck, down the hidden alley, and off to the buyers. All sweet and tidy and just like that. We need to vacate these premises, now! Just another typical shit night in the big wet. Rules is rules. No fighting in the pub. Now get lost! Hogan ass kisser. Had it coming. Shit. Where'd my compact go? What's this about? End of the line, Frog. Your due date is fast approaching, and it's time for you to settle your debt. Pay up, or we settle it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Shit, suppose it was only a matter of time before they caught up with me. Still, no way I'll be able to make that date. Where the hell is Sally? She was supposed to be here 20 goddamn minutes ago. Hey, Frank, almost there. Got stuck in bloody bridge traffic. Meet you at the Eggman in a bit. Don't worry, this is worth it. Well, that's promising. Now I just need a way back into the pub. Top car. Crowbar, let me borrow it for a minute. You... you think I'm going to lend you Margaret? How's about I smash your fucking kneecap instead? You just call that Crowbar Margaret? <laughs> She's your girl, then. Give me some bloody change, will ya? I'm dying. Dying of thirst. <laughs> Why don't you take a nice nap instead? Piss off. Not giving my girl Margaret to a greedy scummer like you. Shh. You're all right, girl. 
Spare a few quid for a down on his luck hero of the revolution. <laughs> there you go, mate. A nice kebab will probably do you some good. Ha! More like time for old Mickey boy to buy himself a bottle of something nice and strong. Someone is having a bad night. Probably even worse than mine. Turn down your romantic advancements. Very funny, Barber. He's a week late, so boss sent me to collect 200 quid and leave him with a few reminders. We all know how much you love your work here. Saw your name on the collections list for next week, Barber. With what you owe, or be scoring me some overtime. I knew I shouldn't have gotten involved. against his next attack. like a young gun. A 
That's a decent little wad of goodness. Not quite enough to choke a donkey or fix my loan situation. Quite enough to pay off my bar tab. I suppose he was planning a birthday party. That money must have been earmarked for the bike. I'll take these firecrackers. Could be useful to draw someone's attention. a bloody racket out here. Ah, come on. A mess and another body to deal with. Ah. He'll be busy dealing with the mess I made in the alley. Now's my chance to get back inside. Are you having a laugh? Hey, you two. Don't go starting shit in here again. Has this clock ever worked? It'd get fixed right quick if certain cut. What? You're gonna pay for your bloody tub? Is this a dream? Got the money right here, darling. Hope this isn't from another one of your loans, Frank. Oh, now don't you go worrying your pretty little head about my finances. Frank has everything sorted. Well, shit, look at you, still in one piece. Bloody miracle, I'd say. No kidding. Figured you would have got yourself all chopped up over one of those loans you keep taking out. Why is my business everyone's business these days? Since everyone knows you haven't been able to pull anything top shelf in a while. Too right. How about you? Working a real job now, all legit and shit. Sally Wheeler working a real job. Who in the hell was desperate enough to hire someone like you? Dog rescue shelter. We take in the leftovers from the underground race leagues, fix them up and find a place for them. People still doing that shit. Don't they get enough from the King's League? King's League are reanimated monsters. Cybernetic killers. The underground shit is real dogs jacked up on crazy mids. Coming to you live from Hogan Telecom Stadium in sunny London for the opening ceremony of the Desmond Wells Cup. And what a wonderful day for a race it is, Tom. It was only 10 years ago on this very day that the first Desmond Wells Cup race was held. Boy, it's been quite a ride. Join us for more Desmond Wells Cup action. Fucking hell. King's League is bad enough. What the fuck has happened to this country? Come on now. It's nothing that hasn't been happening for years. Makes me yearn for the good old days, it does. Back when we were robbing rich to feed the... Don't even say it, Frank. You were never a Robin Hood and you know it. Speaking of, you mentioned something about a job. 
That I did. And here comes a man with an interesting story. Frank, meet Gavin. The man's got some serious info for us. And has even agreed to come along for the full ride. Nice to meet you. Sally is told you're having a laugh. What, we're knocking over a video game studio? Calm your tits, Frank. Gavin here is a Hogan Industries employee. Former Hogan Industries employee. Never catch me working for those pig fuckers again. Not after what they've done to me. Disgruntled ex-employee. Splendid. Let me guess. We're gonna help you blackmail your supervisor? No, Frank. It's not amateur hour. Gavin was in IT, and from what he tells me, he had access to every classified file in the company. There's a fucking treasure trove of info on Hogan. Whole company's covering up some kind of secret operation. We just need the proof. And that's why I reached out. Saw Sally's comments on one of Lady Shell's posts. Did some digging. And you two have made a bit of a name for yourselves. Hear him out, Frank. This could be good for us. Plan simple. We pop into Ogan Labs, all nice and easy, since I can badge us in. We go to my office, and I scrape the Ogan files from the network. And where exactly do we come in? Well, I'm not supposed to be in there, and it's not something I can do remotely. You two, obviously, bring certain skills to the process. You know the drill, Frank. Muscle, firepower, knowing how to pick a lock. That's where we come in. Slip in, steal some computer info, slip out. Nothing else? No helicopters and rooftop chases? Nothing else. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, it's never fucking easy peasy. What are on these files, exactly? Things you wouldn't believe. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. Okay, big man. And what do we do with these files once we have them? We sell them to Ogan's competition. Or ransom them back. Whatever happened to heists and good old-fashioned robberies where all you needed was a bandana and a boomstick? It's easy money, Frank. Nothing is ever easy, mark my words. And bringing Junior here along is just inviting trouble. Bloody ass! Easy, mate. Look, put your next pint on my tab, and we'll be square, all right? Reckon I will. <laughs> See ya? Pour me a glass of hog and excelsior. Go label! Good to see you, man. Cherish friend here. Now tell me something. Why would a regular bloke like you idolize a rich prick like Kenny Hogan? Uh, he's no afraid to speak his mind. He knows what needs to be said. Even an honest prick is still a prick.
hell did you get back in here, Frank? Bouncer and I talked it out. My ass, you two talked it out. Well, here I am, for better or worse. Worse. Definitely worse. in a row! Ha! <laughs> Any words of inspiration for all our viewers? Mr. Hogan, anything you'd like to say to all your adoring fans and supporters? Sure. Remember this. You make your own luck in life. If you want to change the world, you've got to do it your bloody self. Every broke sot in this city has the same sad excuses. Well, here's a tip you can take to the bank. If you're broke, if you're beaten down, it's your own bloody fault. So get comfortable, because winners will always be winners. <laughs> right then, let's make a bloody fool of this twat. What's the bloody plan again? Seriously? We've been over it twice. Yeah, but I weren't really listening. Oh, you're a real true villain, ain't you? The plan is... We get Gavin back to his bloody office, so he can pull the server onto his compad. Once we have the files, we just walk right out. No mud, no blood. Huh, no blood? Like that ever happens. You're saying it's not a good plan? I'm just saying no plan ever survives contact with the enemy. Oh, guys, I'm starting to think maybe this is not... Come on now, my son. It's lock and load time. Christ, maybe coming back here was a big fucking mistake. My heart's pounding. That's Barry's car. What's he still doing here? Who's Barry now? He's head of security. Not like wanker, too. If he's still here this late at night, we could be in for a spot of trouble. Watch yourselves. How did you get into lockpicking, Frank? 
Can't be going around smashing windows and kicking in doors all the time, despite what Miss Wheeler tells you. Whatever. When you need it done right, you know who you call. Well, sometimes you need to be discreet, and the Blue Bloods like to keep their valuables under lock and key. Just made sense to learn. Handy. How does it work? All I have to do is rotate my pick inside the lock until I find a sweet spot. Then I align the ring with the marker, and I repeat for each ring. It's not rocket science, but it still requires finesse and good timing. Hang on a sec. Their security camera's watching that elevator. Might be a mistake to put ourselves on full display. Could be an easy way to disable them. We could shoot them. Or maybe look for a way to just turn them off. Yeah, Gavin's approach makes a bit more sense than, you know, firing guns in an office building. Sure, whatever. We need to find a security terminal. It controls the building's security systems remotely. Hmm? It should let us disable the cameras. Well, let's find the security terminal right quick and get this show on the road. Sundergold tore through the other competitors, literally tore them apart. That pup is a right fucking killing machine. <laughs> Comes back stronger every year he does. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, 
What the royal fuck are you doing in here? Funny, I was just about to ask you ladies the same thing. So, shut it! You lot are about to get an ass kicking. goes to hope no blood bit yeah yeah shove it Frank told you no plan survives contact with the enemy What you doing there, Gavin? See, 
I built this device that lets me interface with any password-protected system. It converts the encryption into a numerical code that can be deduced via trial and error. It gives clues as you make the guesses. <laughs> it's pretty... Sure. Totally. You enter a combination and the device tells you if you're close to the correct code. Then you're refined from there. Get it? Okay. You need to be careful, though. I only get a few attempts before the system kicks me out and resets.
And it's done. Brilliant. The cameras are disabled. We'll be able to get into the lift without even being seen. See, Frank? Gavin's got skills. Sure. And probably a wonderful dose of the clap, too, you filthy creature. <laughs> is the pathetic windowless closet right next to the lift. Wait, what's that smell? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, where's it coming from? What the hell happened over here? Oh, shit! That's in Barry's office! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. We should get the fuck out! Leave, you having a laugh? 100k worth of dirt on Kenny Hogan, then we fucking leave. Nope, 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 nope. This was a mistake. Oh, I should never have come back here. Hang in there, Gav. Let's just keep going, all right? Sure, I guess. office. Thank you. 
Steve. Fucking Steve! Calm down, Gav. Fucking no talent, one finger typing dipshit! Fuck you, Steve! Right, Steve sucks, Scotty. You're oh, I won't be able to access it without Steve's password. I added protections for the computer when it was mine. Can't hack through these. Brilliant. What do we do? Knowing Steve, he'll have his password written down somewhere in the office. Let's do some snooping then. Sally, want to tell our new associate about your process? Sure. It's all about focusing my energy through visualization and breathing techniques. You see, it all sounds like complete bollocks, but once you see her in action, you realize that whatever she's doing, it's working. How does it work? Really? I try to keep my focus centered inside the marker. If I can focus enough, I can channel all my strength into... something. Happy? What? There's a compartment behind the lockers. You didn't know? No. Let's have a look. Might be something we need. A real lady shelf hoster. <laughs> Hard to find these. Fight forever! Lady Shell? Should I know who that is? She's a legendary effluencer. <laughs> how do you not know that? She's everywhere. I'll give you two guesses on how I feel about effluencers. 
and the first two don't count. She exposes the inconvenient truth that they don't want the little people to hear. She's important. Something wrong there, Gavin? The fucking server isn't responding. Oh, it could be a million different things. Where should we begin? I well, guess we should start by going to the server room to investigate. And you have access to the server room? Not quite. Oh, we'll need to find an ID card with the proper level of access. Barry had access to the server room. We find out what happened to him, might be able to find his ID card. Oh, we're also going to need the server room key cards. There are two of them. Right, then. Let's get to it. Astronaut. Didn't make a sound. When? His friend. She didn't notice at first. It's too late. Shit, not this again. Ragdolls on the floor. Hands reaching out. Gurgling. And nothing. My hands. Freeze! Get your hands up! Oh, what? Uh, I'll, I'll open fire! He almost looks like he means it. Maybe. 
Let's just see how serious one thing. Great. 